Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today we're gonna do a what you need to know right now style reading. So, Cancer, let's see what you need to know right now. Let's see the silver lining, something you're going through, if it's being hidden, if it's coming down the chute. Whoa, let's see, let's see. We're getting a little oracle message here. Oh, they want, oh, this is going to be better than you can imagine. All right, all right, let me move my rock. What's going on here? We got to be fair. We have community and go the distance. So we got a couple eights here as well. So, you know, to be fair recognizes um, seeing things for what they are. Maybe there's a choice that needs to be changed or a lesson that needs to be learned, but it's really just about being honest and objective with yourself, right? We don't want to be overly critical of ourselves and be perfectionists because then we can never meet our expectations, but we don't want to be under critically uh, under critical because then we're never going to change and grow and evolve, right? We have to be able to look at ourselves objectively. Um, the eight is just, you know, if you need a helping hand, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you have a friend that needs help, don't be afraid to help. This is just a card of community and friendship. Um, and go the distance. Let's keep going because you're on the right path, doing the right things. You're almost there. So let's talk about it because, baby, this is going to be better than you can imagine. That's what that card says in the, in the little booklet, you know, that comes with the cards. Let's talk about it, Kansai. Let's talk about it. And cancer. <laughs> to celebrate my new channel, I am still doing my September sweepstakes. So if you want to enter my contest to get some free readings, just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered. I will reply to the winners and I will be posting them in the community section. So I've only done one so far. I had to get a reading out, but that's complete. And I will be posting some winners today. So keep an eye out for that. If you want to enter, you know what to do. It is going on for the whole month. Look who's the empress. She has made an appearance. My favorite card in the deck, baby. But look at all these swords. Okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, Cancer, we have the king of swords in reverse. We have the eight of swords. This is what you need to know right now. This is how it's going to affect you. The Seven of Swords and the Empress is your advice or what you need to hear. And the Nine of Swords is the overall energy. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of fear here. The King of Swords in reverse, I'll be straight up. He's kind of a dick. He is a harsh communicator. He's very judgmental. He's overcritical. Um, he sometimes just says something to hurt people. What is this King of Swords in reverse? What does Cancer need to know about this person? Ah, ah, double, double whammy, double King of Swords in reverse, double asshole energy. Okay, what the fuck? The lovers, who is it? the hangman? Okay, someone said something here. Someone said something or did something. This king of court swords. It could be a, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But if it's not an air sign, this is someone who there is a dick. I don't know what else to say. Seven of swords. They did. A, they were. They. They. They might have lied. They might have stolen. Um, basically, this person made the choice to hurt you. That's what you need to know. What do we need to know about the ace of swords? They need you to be honest about that. Okay. So when people get into this king of swords in reverse energy, a lot of times, and this is the nine of swords energy. See how she's got her hands on her face. Sometimes she blames herself. Um, this card can represent someone blaming themselves, someone thinking there's something wrong with them. Someone's confidence getting splattered here. Um, but we have to understand that when people are in this energy, this king of swords energy in reverse, this is, in my opinion, he's the ugliest king upside down. Not a pleasant person to be around, really not someone you want to be around. Um, it is a reflection of them. It is not a reflection of you, but this person, I feel like what they've done here is they've harshly criticized you and tell you that you can't do something or you can't get the, where you want to go. It's like, Oh, cancer, you can't do that. Fuck you. You can't do that. King of swords in reverse, but me as a cancer, I can, I will. And you're going to have to watch me. So what you need to know is this person's just being, Ooh, I got goosebumps when I said that baby. So I don't know. <laughs> That's what you got to say. Um, so the people who get in life what they want, go after what they want, right? The people who get what they want in life, go after what they want. And the fact is you only stop when you stop trying. And the people who get it don't stop trying. This King of Swords in reverse clearly stopped trying at some point in his life and gave up on something that he wanted. And he's projecting that onto you. And what you need to know right now is not to let this person get you down, not to let this person affect your confidence, affect your swagger. You're the Empress, baby. Um, and not to let them stop you because whatever this is energy is here at cancer, they want you to continue on this path. You're almost at the checkered flag, right? So, um, don't let this person influence you because they're making the choice to be critical because they're unhappy within themselves. And there's just some people who don't, you know, we see the millionaires, billionaires, these rich people say it all the time. I think I saw, I think it was Elon Musk or someone like that, but no, it wasn't Elon Musk. It was Cristiano Ronaldo, that, that big soccer player guy. And he said that when you have successes in your life, don't go posting it on social media because most people, 
I'm not happy for you. Keep a silence, baby. Let them watch from the far. Um, so it's just kind of a reminder of that energy because this person doesn't want to see you succeed and that's their issue, not yours. How it affects you though is the Eight of Swords and that's what you need to know right now is to not let this person affect you in one ear, out the other. Understand? This is a reflection of them, not you because this is going to be better than you can imagine. So just don't let them influence you. <laughs> that's what they want to say. What you need to hear, what you need to know, what they want to say is the Seven of Swords and the Empress, baby. They're lying. They're a liar um, with planning, with strategy. You can accomplish anything in your life, especially the Empress energy. This is a master manifester cancer. So the Empress is, in my opinion, the best card in the deck. She's fertile. First of all, wrap it up. If you don't want no babies, um, take precautions, but I don't feel that we're in, I mean, maybe someone is pregnant, but I don't feel like that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> I do feel we're talking about the manifesting part of this, the abundance, the comfort, the success. She made things happen in her life and she didn't listen to other people who tried to put her down or to try to make her feel bad. Um, she just put them behind her. She closed her eyes, washed her hands clean of this and just continued to move forward. Is she mad? Maybe. Um, but is she going to turn that anger into positive? You know, emotions are good, right? Anger is a good emotion if we can handle it in a positive and productive manner. So turn that anger, turn that frustration, turn that insult, offensive energy into a positive in your life and let them watch you shine. So the whole point of this reading is not letting this King of Swords get to you, not letting them stop you from going what you want or going after what you want here, Kansa, because what this is, whatever we're talking about, I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> It's going to be better than you can imagine. Don't doubt it, baby. Don't doubt it. Okay. That's what we got here. That's what you need to know right now. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we'll get back to the tarot, Cancer. We'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guide. Well, we'll get your potential outcome. We'll find out how you're doing in a month. What does Cancer need to surrender to when it comes to this here? Your passion. Get out of your head. Feel the fire in your belly. And focus on the people or the activities that ignite your passion. And let it flow. And your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Because you just got to have faith. That's what George Michael taught us. What is the lesson here for cancer, spirit guides? Service. Yeah, I feel good when I can help others. Yep. And that's why this king of swords is reversed, because he's not helping people. He's bringing negativity into people's energy. <laughs> this happened over here i know you didn't see this but this card just like flew out and i wasn't even over there magic <laughs> the raven own your power because you have the power all right energy oracle message here for cancer spirit guides happy family happy happy what else we got here all right we have happy family what was this one man holding a heart in reverse and the community yeah so a man holding a heart in reverse is a masculine energy who is not properly dealing with their emotions. But the point of the card is you're not going to let that affect your life or affect you in any way. And we have this family and community cards again. So I really feel like if you need a shoulder to lean on, um, don't hesitate to ask your family and friends. You know, sometimes we need help, but sometimes we just need to vent. Um, we don't even need advice. We don't even care what they want to say. We just need to vent and get that shit out. So do what you need to do to release that energy from that King of Swords in reverse to continue to move forward. And there's a big, heavy message here to let your friends and family help you. Um, and this, the message simply could be have fun. Go out, dance, shake the stress away, have a whatever you do, sit by the bonfire, go fishing, whatever you do, um, enjoy the friends and family around you. You know, you might have a, a celebration coming up of some sort and it's just go out and have fun, baby. Um, enjoy yourself a little bit as you're going through, you know, some of these <clears throat> difficult people and difficult transitions. So cancer, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. I'm just making room here because these cards are in my way. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month, baby? How you doing? Are there any hiccups? Is King of Swords still up in your energy? Are you just moving forward? Are you seeing the Ten of Pentacles in this better than you can imagine? Where? This motherfucker's still here. Why? He's still... Oh, no, he's not. Okay, this is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the Chariot and the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. That's good. That is good. Three more cards here for Cancer. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Strength, and there's the Knight of Pentacles. So it is a journey, and it is a process. Take the time to do that. You know, the, the Knight of Pentacles is about patience, determination, resilience, paying attention to the details, but also looking at things from a higher perspective, from a bigger picture. So this might be a very slow moving energy, but the Ace of Pentacles is here twice. So the Ace, all the Aces represent new beginnings, 
the Ace of Pentacles represents a successful new beginning. So you got a successful new beginning, but it might be slow moving and that's okay. So with the chariot, but then there, we got the chariot here, which is just you moving on from this King of Swords. And that's very much Cancerian energy. That's why you're the chariot. This is the most successful card in the deck. He overcomes any obstacle, any challenge, any barrier that gets in his way. He just barrels that over. You know, there's two types of people in the world. You get a, one where you get the barrier and you, and you stop and one where they get the barrier and they just knock it over. You got a choice and the choice you're making is moving past this energy knocking over that energy in one ear out the other it's not influencing you you're moving forward now you do have an opportunity or an offer page of pentacles knight of pentacles it's going to be better than you can imagine it could be a job could be love it could be contracts it could be clients whatever and however this applies to you things are progressing forward in a successful manner the strength of the nine of swords is on a metaphysical level controlling the beast within yourself the lion right letting go of lower virtues which is worries anxieties fears imposter syndrome negative influences self-doubt any of those energies you're gaining the strength and the courage to let them go if you blamed yourself for any kind of decision or choice there's no point in blaming yourself that doesn't get you anywhere it's just about changing your choices to change your life you want a different you want a different ending change the choice that you made and learn from that past because there's always a value that you can learn from that experience so this is just letting go of those anxieties and worries taking it day by day if this person was very uh influential or important person in your life it isn't easy to let that go of course not what if this was a father that's your dad he's saying this shit to you he's not supporting you you know that's that's not easy for anyone to accept, right? It takes time to heal. So have patience with yourself, continue to move forward, but see the teachings of Hermes that that is a reflection of them and you're moving forward. And remember too, with the strength, I know you can't see it in this card because it's black and gold, <laughs> but she's wearing a white robe and she has a divin the divination symbol, which represents a divine being. It represents someone with a pure heart, has good intentions. You're not running around the King of Swords in reverse. Let other people be who they're gonna be and you're gonna stay who you are. Um, which is honorable, which is honest, which is hardworking, and which is going to get their dreams come true, which fulfillment, because this is going to be better than you can imagine. So cancer, that's what I got. That's what's going on. That's what's taking place. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, if you like your reading, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Not only does it help my channel to grow, so thank you, but it also gets you into my sweepstakes, into some free readings. So you know what to do if you want to do that and you want to support me. So thank you, cancer. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit guides, yes or no, what's the answer for Kansa? Come on, baby, give us an answer. We want an answer. Whoa, hold on. Let's redo that. Yes or no, there it is. Yes, follow your passion. That's what I got, Cancer. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.